Hello there and welcome. I'm Ole Borger and if you're new here, I really hope I'll earn your subscription today. Today I will have a look at something similar to my dice tower here. I'll need to build some dice trays and they are for upcoming projects. That's a bit bigger than just making a dice tray. I went to my workshop and right now it is winter outside and it's been freezing, but I had a couple of days where the temperatures were above freezing. My laser is water cooled and I don't have a heater in my workshop. I have to empty the tube for water so it won't explode. Let's go to my workshop and get started. Before we can go to the workshop, we need a plan for what to cut. And I made this simple design in Inkscape to make this dice tray. Inkscape is a free application for making vector-based graphics and it's almost similar to Adobe Illustrator. The design is now done and I ended up with three files. One that we need to cut five times and the other two just once. I used three millimeter birch plywood for this project. This is the board I needed to cut five times. I need five dice trays. It took a while cutting all these parts. I spent about an hour. While I was changing the plywood, I could start assemble the dice trays. The cuts with the laser is so precise that I can just use a hammer and they have a very snug fit. One tray is done, four more to go. We are almost there. Five trays is done, but I still want to make some place in the tray where I can put some dices. I cut out two smaller parts. One is the same height as the inner size of the tray and the other one is a bit wider. I think I will elevate this with a piece of foam. It won't be that deep and the dices will be easier to grab. I have cut out a couple of pieces of foam and I'll just glue it in with some PVA glue. And the same thing goes with the two parts I cut out. I'll just use some PVA glue after I have wiped off the excess glue with a damped cloth and I will let them set to dry for about an hour. This is neoprene rubber. It is used for mouse pads or even diving suits. And this is a perfect dampener for when you're throwing the dice. I'll just cut up a couple of pieces and make them fit in the bottom of the dice tray and the dice holding part. I'll just secure it with some PVA glue and that's pretty much it. All five trays is now secured with some rubber. I made a template of a piece of paper. I'm going to use this by gluing it on with a glue stick on a piece of felt. Cut it out, make a test fit and use some spray adhesive all over the back of the piece of felt and put it in the dice tray. The spray adhesive has a fairly long dry time, so it is very sticky, but you can move it around. There was a couple of gaps, but I could trim it down with a couple of smaller pieces of felt. Finally, I will use my airbrush to paint it black. Five dice trays are done and I will still be using my dice tower, but for remote play and yeah, even here at home, it's always nice to have some dice trays uh, when, when you're playing. It was a pretty easy build and, and now I have a laser cutter and not everyone has one. But you can always uh, cut the parts out with a saw or a jigsaw or, or something like that. I had my laser and I used it and I cut out all these boxes, I think within an hour. The most difficult part was putting this felt on. It, uh, the spray adhesive was so sticky and it was very hard to handle, but I managed to get through it. I have a big project coming up next week. I've been building on this for the last month and a half and there's about 60 hours of video edit to do, so I've been busy. This is going to be a part of this too, so uh, if you like and you think I earned it and you want to watch more, please subscribe and I'll see you next week. Goodbye for now.